Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today's lesson is called Similar Triangles and Indirect Measurement. Our objective is to solve problems involving similar triangles. And if you were to scan this lesson and list two real, real world scenarios in which you would use indirect measurement, you would find that you would be able to find the height of a tree and even find the distance across a lake. Both different th difficult things to measure directly, but we can try to measure them indirectly, which gets us into our vocabulary startup. Indirect measurement allows you to use properties of similar polygons to find distances or lengths that are difficult to measure directly. Complete the graphic organizer. List three real-world examples in the Venn diagram for each method of measurement. Well, what are things that we can directly measure? Well, one is your arm. I can get a ruler out and measure somebody's arm. You could also measure, say, a long jump distance. You could measure the length of classroom wall. And I'll let you come up with a third on your own. What about indirect measurement? Well, it would be pretty hard to directly measure the Statue of Liberty's arm without getting into some trouble with security. If you go to Cedar Point, it would be pretty difficult to actually get up and measure a, the height of a roller coaster, not just security-wise, but climbing that high might be a little scary. So you could say height of roller coaster. What about something really small? Maybe it would be really, really hard to measure the width of piece of lead, piece of pencil lead that you might put into a mechanical pencil could be pretty tough to measure directly. So you need to use indirect measurement. Now write the name of an object that could be measured by either method. Well, what about a person's height? Believe it or not, even though it's quite simple to measure the person's height directly, you could use indirect measurement to measure their height as well. Now, in our real world link, legend says that Thales, the first Greek mathematician, was the first to determine the height of the pyramids by examining the shadows made by the sun. What appears to be true about the corresponding angles in the two triangles? Well, they look equal. And if the corresponding sides are proportional, what could you conclude about the triangles? Well, if we have equal corresponding angles and proportional sides, we could say that they are similar. And using that property and the properties we've learned about similar triangles, we can use those to have direct measurement methods. <laughs> And what Joey really just said was that angle-angle similarity. If two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. In other words, in these two triangles, if angle A is congruent to angle F, and angle B is congruent to angle G, then triangle ABC is similar to FGH. Now in the figure below, Angle X is congruent to angle P. And angle Y is congruent to angle Q. If you extend the sides of each figure to form a triangle, you can see the two triangles are similar. 
So, triangle similarity can be proven by showing two pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. What do you know about the third pair of angles in the triangle? Well, we should know that they are congruent. In our first guided example here, determine whether the triangles are similar. If so, write a similarity statement. As it says here, angles A and E have the same measure, so these two angles are congruent. Since 180 minus 62 minus 48 equals 70, angle G measures 70 degrees. Two angles of E, F, G are congruent to two angles of A, B, C. So, triangle A, B, C is similar to E, F, G. As you can see, we have the 62 and the 70 now. So these are two similar triangles. Now, what about our example? And we can use these same directions to determine whether the triangles are similar. If so, write a similarity statement. Well, right now we can see that angle H and angle L are congruent. Now, we need to see if we have a second angle that are congruent. Well, what about this angle here and this angle here? Think back to vertical angles. When you have two intersecting lines, the angles formed that are opposite of each other are congruent. So here we have angle L being congruent to angle H and we have angle L K M being congruent and L K M represents this angle to angle H, K, J. H, K, J. So that's this angle. And since we have two congruent angles, we can say triangle J, K, H is similar to triangle M, K, L. So again, we saw that these angles were congruent. Then we stated that this angle and this angle were congruent because of vertical angles, which represented this statement. And since we have two sets of congruent angles, by angle-angle similarity concept and property, we can say that we have two similar triangles. In the second part of our lesson, we get to use indirect measurement. One type of indirect measurement is shadow reckoning. Two objects and their shadows form two sides of right triangles. In shadow problems, you can assume that the angles formed by the sun's rays with two objects at the same location are congruent. Since two pairs of corresponding angles are congruent, the two right triangles are similar. Think about it. You have the right angle, and you have that angle that's formed by the sun's rays. You can use similar triangles that do not involve shadows to find missing measures as well. And our guided example two here, a fire hydrant two and five tenths feet high, which is right here, casts a five foot shadow. How tall is the street light? We're going to represent that by H that casts a 26-foot shadow at the same time. Let H represent the height of the streetlight. 
Well, we have our shadow on the left side of our proportion and our height on the right side. We have the hydrant on top and the street light on the bottom. Well, our hydrant's shadow was 5 feet. The street light shadow was 26 feet. And that's going to be set equal to, for our proportion, the height of the hydrant was 2 and 5 tenths, or 2 and a half feet. And the height of the street light was